Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. What am I think? What am I think? You're listening to Popeye News Links. This is the Admiral Tibet who I represent. And remember, the time is so serious. Contankerous and dangerous. This is Popeye News Links. Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. In yesterday's video, I made a mistake. I had said black forest cake instead of black fruit cakes. Call or WhatsApp Miss Joy for your black fruit cake or your sorrel cake. Remember that the three pound cakes are done to order. The numbers are 876-848-0685. Or 876-461-8355. And Miss Joy, she will have your cake and sorrel delivered to you. In today's journey, we are in the parish of Sentan and we are heading towards Trelawney. Continue to sit back, continue to relax and continue to enjoy this journey with me. In today's news... Two guys were arrested and charged by members of the Latriscam Task Force at the Sangsta International Airport in Montego Bay last night. They are identified as Highwayan Fuller. He is 27 years old and Odean Larson. He is 32 years old. Both of them are living in the Kinglas area of Trelawney. We are told that both guys... They were seen withdrawing money from an ATM inside the airport. That ATM only dispenses United States dollars. It is said that their actions aroused the suspicion of the police and they were accosted and searched. They were allegedly found with two blue GO2 Visa debit cards bearing the names of persons who are living overseas. They were also found with 400 United States dollars and ATM receipts showing the withdrawals. After investigations by the police, they were arrested and charged for the offense of possession of access device. So, both of them, they'll be going to the courts shortly. In this next story, we are learning that early Tuesday morning, December 5, about minutes to 4 o'clock, a team of police officers... They were on patrol along South Street in the Old Arbor area of St. Catherine when they signaled a dark blue Mitsubishi Lancer motor car to stop. The driver complied. The driver is a 38-year-old taxi driver of Lineral Street in the Rallington Town area of Kingston. In the car with him was a guy. He is 18 years old and he also lived at Lineral Street in Rallington Town. Also in the car was a 36-year-old female. She said to be a vendor and she's living at Wallen Hill in the Spring Village area of Old Arbor. We are told that the police searched the car and a locked safe was found in it. None of the occupants had the keys to open the safe. We are also told that they refused from telling the police where they got the safe, but everything was soon revealed. It was revealed that the safe, it was stolen from ONS Electrical and Plumbing Supplies and Mini Market on South Street in Old Arbor. The operators of the store, they securely locked it up about 5.30 Monday evening and went away. Hoodlums went there and gained entry to the building by cutting open a section of the front grill. They entered and stole several items to include the safe with a large sum of money. We are told that other hoodlums were involved and they left in another vehicle with other stolen items. These three hoodlums to include the female. They were taking the safe to have it opened. They are in police custody pending investigations and as soon as they are charged i'm gonna be telling you who they are officers good job in this next story we're learning that earlier this afternoon two hoodlums armed with guns 
they enter the compound of the Carnwall College in Montego Bay, where they held up and robbed six students of their cell phone and money. The details are still sketchy, and I will definitely be updating the story in a subsequent video. Stand by for that. In this next incident, this one took place early this morning, about minutes to 1 o'clock. It took place at Content District in the Adelphi area of St. James. Our information is that a 39-year-old delivery man, he was at his home fast asleep when a hoodlum kicked off the front door and entered the house. The man, he managed to run out of the house and the hoodlum opened a barrage of gunshots at him, hitting him to his buttocks. The man, he managed to hid in bushes. The hoodlum, he then drove away the man's silver 2012 Toyota Voxy that was parked in the yard valued at almost 2 million Jamaican dollars, making good his escape. The man, he was assisted to a nearby hospital where he was treated and admitted. The mayhem. Now, this one, it took place last night, Wednesday, December 6, about 8.15. It took place in the vicinity of Providence and the White House Main Road at Iron Shore in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. Now, this is what we are learning. A man, his name is Ram Kumar Chalasani. He was born on July 13, 1975, 48 years old. Dr. Ram, he was a medical doctor and he's from India but he lived in Ontario, Canada. So if you look on your screen, the photo to your left is Dr. Ram. The photo to your right is Dr. Ram meeting India's High Commissioner to Jamaica in 2017 to discuss projects he was undertaking in Jamaica. This included the AAIMS Medical College. AAIMS is the acronym for the All American Institute of Medical Sciences. That college is a private school located in the town of Black River in the parish of St. Elizabeth. It began operations in 2009. Dr. Ram, he was the executive director at the college. Last night, Dr. Ram Chalasani. He was a passenger in a white 2005 Nissan Sony motor car. It was being driven by a 55-year-old man from the parish of St. Elizabeth. They were traveling towards Carroll Garden's direction. On reaching the stoplight at Providence, the light was on green. The driver for the car that the doctor was in, he should have waited until the vehicles that were coming in the opposite direction passed but he did not he made a right turn as a result a white 2015 toyota highest that was coming in the opposite direction it collided into the left side of the car that the duck was in now if you look at your screen that is a photo of the white toyota highest and as you can see the front was extensively damaged if you look at your screen now there is a photo of the Nissan that Dr. Chalasani was traveling in. He was trapped and had to be cut from the car. The driver for the car, who was clearly at fault, he was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was admitted in a serious condition. Sad indeed. In this next incident, this one took place last night. Wednesday, December 6, about minutes to 9 o'clock. It took place along the Petersfield Main Road in the parish of Westmoreland. Our information is that a number of persons were living at a house. Now, this house is an 11 apartment concrete house, but the flooring is made out of board. Last night, one of the occupants of the house smelled smoke and made checks. She then realized that fire was coming from the upstairs of the building where her grandmother lived. 
persons tried to go upstairs to save her, but by this time, the fire was too large. The grandmother's name is Miss Lisiana Spence. She was born on August 1, 1933, 90 years old. The fire department, they were called and on their arrival, they were able to bring the fire under control, but it was too late for Miss Spence. She perished in the flame. We are told that the total damage to the house is estimated at over 6 million Jamaican dollars. An investigation is being done to ascertain what could have caused this fire. Sad indeed. In this next story, we are learning that a guy, he was shot and killed by the police. This afternoon, about 1 o'clock in the Little London police area of Westmoreland. We are also told that an illegal gun was seized from him. Our information is that this guy, he used to live at Desta Street in Savannah Lamar, but he went to live in the Little London area earlier this year after the death of his mother. We had also carried a story of that guy being shot at his mother's funeral. I'm doing some digging and we'll be updating this story in a subsequent video. Stand by for that. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you'll be one of the first to be notified. In the final story for today, that man on your screen, his name is Dwayne Patrick Williams, but he was popularly known as Monkey Man. Monkey Man was born on July 1, 1990, 33 years old, and he lived at Pullet Lane in the Petersfield area of Westmoreland. Our information is that Monkey Man, he was last seen alive by relatives last night, Wednesday, December 6, about 10 o'clock. He was last seen in the Pullet Lane area, about 8.30 this morning. Thursday, December 7, we are told that residents of the area, they stumbled upon Monkey Man's lifeless body lying on his back in a pool of blood. He was dressed in a black shirt black jean shorts and a pair of brown shoes as a result the police were called when the police arrived and inspected monkey man he was found with a black shorts stuffed in his mouth he was seen with several chop and stab wounds to his upper body he appeared to have been killed from last night so the question is who killed Monkey Man and why? Stand by. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Popeye Newslink and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick silver sin. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Jamaica, oh Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica, 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 
Jamaica, the land of the sun. Jamaica, we come now, the land of the gun. East and north and south, when we turn. Country and town, man, I feel blood and run. Murder, don't you be a me here, them a murder. Cut it out, tell them you're gonna murder. Man, I dead like cancer and bird, yeah. Who don't listen, them a word, yeah. Crime, it a mash up Jamaica. Criminals, them a mash up Jamaica.